Nikki Minaj recently experienced a significant emotional crisis following her separation from husband Kenneth Petty, reportedly due to struggles with substance addiction. This occurred after she shared a series of tearful videos announcing their divorce. Many had anticipated their marriage might end in turmoil, but the unexpected nature of Petty initiating the divorce left many surprised. Kenneth severely damaged Nikki's reputation with his criminal record, and there are allegations that he not only cheated on her with multiple women, but also introduced her to the substances she's now struggling with. Before their relationship, Nikki was a different person, and her addiction has since worsened significantly. Her ability to communicate is diminishing, and her overall demeanor has drastically changed. Additionally, she recently lost a significant amount of weight, which some speculate could be a result of the substances she's reportedly been using. Now, brace yourselves, because there's a lot to unravel here. The chaos began a few days ago when Nikki sent the internet into a frenzy with a cryptic tweet, hinting at the possibility of her becoming single again. The vague nature of her tweet sparked widespread speculation among many people. Speculation arose whether she was hinting at leaving her partner or teasing an upcoming single with her cryptic tweet. Matters escalated when she shared a distressing video of herself in tears, discussing her son. What heightened concerns was her apparent need to reassure herself of being a good mother, seemingly in response to criticism from someone in her personal life. This led many to question whether she and her unemployed husband had argued about her being on tour and unable to devote as much attention to her son as she had during the more relaxed years spent primarily at home with him. And then one day, they're yelling, push. You're in pain. And then one day, comes out a beautiful baby boy to God be the glory congratulations to every mama out there you're doing a great job in case no one's told you that you're doing a great job after enduring such emotional upheaval she bravely reclaimed the stage, where she poured her heart out in a moving performance. Amidst her songs, she paused to deliver a poignant soliloquy on the complexities of love, highlighting the profound hurt that accompanies betrayal when you've invested everything in someone else. And it requires keeping secrets. And it requires loyalty. And you should never have to question that if someone loves you. As mentioned earlier, speculation immediately arose linking the situation to her marriage and the possibility of her divorcing Kenneth. This speculation stemmed from long-standing rumors, including anonymous reports suggesting he had cheated on Nikki and potentially introduced her to substances. The rumors initially surfaced when a blind item alleged Kenneth brought strippers to their home while she was away in Trinidad for carnival. The rumors intensified when news broke that Nikki purchased a new $19 million home in Lai. Initially, it was assumed she would be living there with Kenneth, but media takeout investigated further and discovered. Kenneth was reportedly residing in Nikki's original house, not her new mansion. This house was originally purchased for them when they were married. Rumors gained traction when Kenneth's ex-girlfriend, Redbone, appeared to confirm speculation that Kenneth had been involved with someone else while still with Nikki. Redbone posted cryptic messages on her Instagram stories around the time this news surfaced. Kenneth's ex-girlfriend, Redbone, seemed to address Kenneth's infidelity towards Nikki, suggesting, forget love, treat people as they treat you. They always return when you're irresistible. Interestingly, Redbone had been hinting at her and Kenneth's affair for years, but her claims were largely disregarded. In 2018, when Nikki announced her relationship with Kenneth, Redbone publicly criticized Nikki for using her fame and wealth to attract him, stating, I have no issue with her, but she's messing with my man who lived with me. How does he just leave and chase after a rapper? 
Nikki defended herself by explaining that she and Kenneth had a history as childhood sweethearts and reconnected later in life. At the time, there was even a wild theory circulating that Redbone was friends with Cardi B's close friend, Starbrim, and that Nikki stole Kenneth from Redbone under those circumstances. Redbone indirectly took a swipe at Cardi B, suggesting that Nikki stole her man, Kenneth. According to the source Noel, who happens to be friends with Cardi and close to Cardi's best friend Star Brim, led some to speculate that Nikki's relationship with Kenneth was a veiled dig at Cardi. Since then, Redbone has moved on from Kenneth and his questionable behavior. Meanwhile, it appears Nikki is regretting ever getting involved with him, amid rumors that he, not she, initiated their divorce. Allegedly, Nikki's escalating substance abuse issues have strained their relationship. Recently, she was arrested in Amsterdam for transporting illegal substances, though Dutch police later clarified it was not hard drugs, despite initial speculation. To conceal the incident, she claimed it was only weed to prevent further exposure. Around the time of her arrest, a blind item surfaced suggesting Azealia Banks had predicted that Nikki's severe addiction would lead to her arrest eventually. The blind item accurately predicted that the foreigner plus list rapper's addiction would result in international legal trouble. Not only that, just recently while Nikki was in Paris for her Pink Friday 2 tour, she encountered fans and appeared visibly under the influence of various substances. She struggled to articulate herself, pointed at the wrong people, and eventually realized her embarrassing state, abruptly retreating to her car. Barbie Dangerous. Barbie Dangerous. No, you. <laughs> Finish the line. What's the name of my, next, what's the name of my last album? Uh, Pinky. Not, not you. <laughs> <laughs> you. Uh, him. Okay, good night. Nikki, there. <laughs> this entire situation is chaotic. And if the divorced rumors are accurate, I hope Nikki signed a prenuptial agreement before marrying him considering he had no significant assets when they got together, but she has millions without a prenup. He could potentially claim half of her wealth. As expected, people had varied opinions on this matter. Here's a rephrased version. For instance, one commenter remarked, being dumped by the same person you've defended for years and who has now landed you in multiple lawsuits. What goes around comes around. Another observed, she's been carrying that man's baggage and it eventually takes its toll. He always seemed cold-hearted, lacking any empathy. It's clear she needs a more mature partner. Now what are your thoughts on Nikki being left by her husband? Do you believe her addiction might be a factor in their rumored divorce? Share your opinions below, and don't forget to check out this other intriguing video. Not only has she filed for divorce, but reports suggest she's also seeking a restraining order due to allegations of violence. Brace yourselves, because the latest developments in 2024 are even more shocking than anticipated. Rumors abound that Nikki Manaj has filed for a secret divorce from Kenneth Petty after five years of marriage, and it's not a straightforward split. There are serious domestic violence allegations involved. Many fans foresaw this due to ongoing concerns about Kenneth's past and behavior. Initially, fans celebrated their union as a fairy tale ending for Nikki only to see it marred by these distressing developments. After serving several years, his ex-girlfriend ended up doing a supervised release program from 2013 to 2018. The New York State authorities labeled him as a level two offender, suggesting a risk of reoffending. His criminal history dates back to 1995, involving allegations of using weapons to coerce his ex-girlfriend into unwanted activities. Furthermore, in July 2019, shortly after relocating to California and marrying Nikki, Kenneth was arrested for failing to register appropriately. So getting dumped by the same SA offender you've been defending all these years, and he just landed you in multiple lawsuits. What goes around comes back around, honestly. Another person said, she carrying that man's weight, and over time, it can take a toll on you. He always looking mean, knowing he didn't have no motion about him. Nikki need a mature man.